Hey guys, Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today I'm going to be showing you the Z8 Bug Zapper. So, three, two, one, let's get at it. All right, guys, so this product was sent to me for free to do this review, and you know me, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this product out in the field in real world conditions and show you exactly how it performs and what it does and give you a full review on it. All right, guys, so let me get this thing out of the box so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so getting it out of the box, this is what it looks like here flat. Um, it has a fan base down here that a motor turns on that supposedly you got your trap down here so whenever the bugs get killed they fall on here and this can fill up okay so you know it's got your zapper coils inside they look pretty heavy duty um seems like this grit right great right here obviously is to keep you from touching it but it might block bigger mods and things from getting in there all right it's got your charging cord here it's got this little wall mount right here that uh, allows you to mount it on a wall if you wanted to mount it close to something. You mount that with this mounting hardware and then uh, there's a little key in the back here so you just slide it over the base like that and it slides on. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's got this little brush here for cleaning out the bugs like that if you want to get knock the bugs out. So... Okay, let me go ahead and just plug this in real quick right here. I'm going to put it outside for a full night of testing. There's a lot of bugs this time of year. And so, um, you know, we'll uh, check that out once we get at night. I'll set up a time-lapse camera on it to film the activity. All right, so reaching over there. And let's see where we plug this baby in here. Okay, it plugs right here into the arm. Okay. All right, so it doesn't come on automatically. There's buttons on the top here. So this one right here is touch sensitive, turns it on. It's got some pretty bright LED lights there. It's got an okay fan. It's pretty quiet. You can't really hear it. Um blowing air out around the bottom here let's see if it'll blow this plastic bag across the table there we go so it does have a little wind output so hopefully that will suck some bugs down there all right well it looks good hopefully it's going to work great i'm going to put it out in the field and see what it does and i'll come back and i'll show you the results okay guys so i'm back and i put this thing out for a night of testing and as you can see it got a lot of bugs in the zapper part of it right here and uh, so let's go ahead and open up the bottom here and see what it got all right so this is after one night outside and it got a lot of stuff you can see there's still bugs up in there it caught a lot of bugs in one night I actually set a camera to do a time-lapse recording for you for, throughout the night to show you it actually in action and working. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that up for you right now. And you can see that uh, it worked just fine as far as catching uh, lots and lots and lots of bugs. And it's a strong zapper, kills them. And then, you know, some of them do get stuck to this, but a lot of them do actually get sucked down into the bottom. Um, so, you know, that actually worked. Everything about it worked really good. Now, I will say that in the instructions, they say that this is not intended for outdoor use. It's intended for indoor use in a house where you want to kind of eliminate the bugs inside. Uh, so, uh, you know, I don't have any complaints about its ability to attract moths and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what else is caught in here, but it's it actually caught a lot of things. So, if you're looking for a bug zapper that attracts moths and other types of light-attracted bugs that are attracted to light, this thing works pretty good. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, 
I'll see you later. Hey, the Gadget Man here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the new feature that YouTube has announced called Super Thanks. And this is the viewer ability to give, basically give the creators a tip. You know, we don't make a whole lot of money from our videos, especially me. I do a lot of work on my, my videos to try to make them good for you. And, uh, you know, I do them because I, I want to help people out. But, you know, it's good to be appreciated. So if you've got a couple extra bucks, I'd appreciate if you throw them my way. If you don't, please enjoy the video. They're out there. I put them out there for free so that you can. But, you know, I would appreciate it if you could. Thanks a whole lot and have a great day.